Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Trisum Tishtoska Automation Tutorial. So this is our lesson 33 as an overall Tricentis Tosca automation concepts and it is our lesson 18 in terms of an advanced level concepts. In this lesson you will learn how can we perform multi-language testing by using Tricentis Tosca automation tool and we are going to use regular expressions to handle the multi-language testing by using Tricentis Tosca. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. So now let us jump onto the system and see how can we automate test cases related to multi-language testing. So this is my Tricentis Tosca where I have created a folder called multilingual testing and then I have created one test case called multi-language test. So let us first go to website that we will be using to test your multi-language. Okay. So if you see this is my website moodle.org and you can see the content everything which is showing in English. Right. So now if I change the language to Dutch. Okay. So if you see here, except the titles, see entire, including the titles, everything is changed to Dutch. See, everything is changed to Dutch language. Right. So now let us again go back to English. So now your entire content is in English. Now, I would like to automate one test case of this particular website by using Tricentis Tosca. Okay, let us go back to Tricentis Tosca and go to modules. I would like to scan this particular, some of the controls of you, this particular page. Right click and then click on scan, select application. So this will open your X scan. So what I'm doing, I'm scanning all the controls when the website is showing in English language. Okay, keep that in mind. Okay, select the application, click on scan. So now I'm gonna scan couple of controls of this particular page. Okay, so just select select on screen. I would like to select this link, okay? And then also I would like to select the content of that particular module, that link, content of that particular link, okay? Let's select this content. So now if you see this content is not uniquely identified, uh, let me make it as unique. I made it as unique. If you observe closely, this link has the property called inner text and your tag. And this content, let's make it as, I'm renaming this as modal LMS description. Okay, description. So this description has tag and inner text that are that particular content basically the entire text of text is its inner text okay so now let us rename this as moodle.org okay let me sorry let me remove this select on screen now just rename this to moodle okay moodle moodle.org so i just captured these two okay let's save this and close it okay so let us go back to our Tricentis Tosca and let us see here, okay. So I want to understand, see this is what we just now scan. If you observe closely, if you see here, Moodle LMS, this link has inner text called Moodle LMS and your tag. And this description has inner text of this entire text that is displaying here, right. 
So let us create a test case now. Okay, just bring this module to the right side. And let's drag this module and drop into your test case. So what I'm going to do, so here before I run the test case, right, I would like to change the sequence of the controls. I would like to bring this description first and then the link okay so that's okay so now see so this is description this is link now i would like to verify if this content exists on the page or not okay so for that let's click on here and click on your inner text and i'm going to specify not inner text let's say i would like to say exist equal to I'm specifying task up to verify if that particular element exists on the screen. This particular description exists on the screen. In the same way, I look to validate if this link exists, then I would like to click on that link. Okay, I would like to click on the link. First verify this and then click on link. Okay, so let me just simply run this particular test case. Right click and run. First, it verifies, verifies the content in English and it clicks on link. So done. So now it verified the content and then it clicked on the link. Okay. So let us open your Tricent Distance Bar and see the results. Okay. So if you see the results here, the verification is successful and it clicked on your link. Okay. So now let us say I will change this to Dutch. I will change the language to Dutch. So then this content, it tries to verify the content in English language. It won't find. Let's run this now. Let's run this. It's going to fail the test case because the first content does not exist. It fails. See, your test case is failed now because the content has been changed from English to Dutch. So now how can we handle this kind of scenarios? How can I automate the test case so that the test case is, will be successful whatever the language I select? Okay, so let us for that. Let us first go here. I would like to use some regular expressions. So let's bring this module here. Okay. We want to change the properties of particular module. Okay. Just simply bring here. And first, let us first concentrate on this description. Okay. Let's go here. This particular description has inner text property. So now, instead of hard coding this inner text property, let's go here and then put it into English language. Okay. I would like to remove this one. So basically, instead of this entire text, I'm just making it as regular expression. Let's keep it. Okay. So now I would like to start using the regular expression. Reg ex. Okay, sorry, curly braces. Reg ex. And then open square braces. And here I'm going to specify the text that I would like to see here. What is the inner text? This is the inner text, right? So here, this is the inner text in English language that I would like to see. And then I need to use R either if this particular element can have this inner text. At the end, I specified as to, that means whatever the text it may be. Okay, first it should match all this English language. Or it should match your Dutch language. Let's go here. Change it to Dutch. So it should match the Dutch language. What is the language? Press right click and then inspect here. I would like to take the inner text. Okay. For this Dutch language. So if you see here, if you expand. If you expand the card, this is the language. I would like to copy this language. 
and I will specify or it can contain this. I'll say from here star, okay? And then close your square brackets, close your curly braces. So before I close this square brackets, I need to close your columns. Open your curly braces, reg x, r e g e x, open your square bracket, right? Open your square bracket, let's bring it left side again, okay? So what I'm doing here, I simply open curly braces, reg x, open square brackets, colon, your English language inner text, or it's a pipe symbol, or your Dutch language inner text, and close your colon, close square brackets, close your curly braces. So for inner text, I used regular expression at the end to make sure that it won't fail. Okay, so done. Now save this now. Okay, so if I run the test case, now the test case should pass in Dutch language as well. Okay, let's right click and then run this. Okay. So your test case is now passed. You can see, let's go back to our test results and see it actually matched your content in Dutch also. Let us again go back here. Let us change back to English and see if it gets failed. Passed, sorry. Okay. I want to again change it to English and then simply run the test case again. It should handle both the languages, English and Dutch. So when I run this particular test case, it validates the content in English and your test case will be passed. Yeah, so if you see here, it successfully validated whether the description exists or not and then it clicked on your link. So if you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Hope oh, you all understand the concept of how can we automate multi-language test cases by using Tricentis Tosca automation tool. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.